Welcome to Mastering and Guideline in Ultrasound and Echo. Amyloidosis is, we can call it an immunogenetic disorder that caused by the position of extracellular amyloid fibrils. And it involves any organ and many organs, including heart, kidney, and nervous system. But it can involve any organ in the body. Among them, heart is most of the time involved, and that we call it cardiac amyloidosis or amyloid cardiomyopathy. Among the uh, cardiac amyloidosis, amyloidosis, we have many different types, but two of them include over 90% of the cases of the cardiac amyloidosis that include light, uh, light chain uh, amyloidosis or AL and transtyretin amyloidosis. Light change amyloidosis is due to producing immunoglobin light chain in the plasma cell inside of the bone marrow. But transtyretin, that is a protein responsible for transporting uh, tyroxine and retinol, produced in the liver. Transtyretin amyloidosis is a genetic disorder that it can be hereditary or new mutation and has a lot of variants. Light AL uh, is a little uh, different, usually is reactive to other condition. Still, we don't know the exactly mechanism of the amyloidosis, but almost most of the cases uh, developed at the background of the chronic infection, chronic inflammation. Those chronic infection can be anything, hepatitis, HIV, viral, uh, and all those uh, infectious disease. And chronic inflammation, any type of the inflammation that chronic, including lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, psoriasis, Crohn's, and so on. And uh, final in the disease association with this uh, disorder with the chronic malnutrition. Back to two decades ago, it was uh, rare, but with increasing our knowledge and awareness, the incidence and prevalence of this disease is not anymore rare. Just in 2000, 16 based on the study every year in United States or almost about 2,500 to 5,000 cases every year will be diagnosed. The important uh, things about uh, this disorder is detecting in early stage because after establish, establishment and development of the disorder, especially involving the heart, the uh, prognosis will be very poor. The survival uh, for the, this uh, group of the patient after diagnosis and established is about uh, one to five years. But in early detection, uh, we can uh, prevent and increase the survival rates because we have a lot of progress in uh, medicine for treatment that for each of them, the clinical presentation and prognosis for each of those types is a little different and even treatment.